Now this is uh, the fly I'm going to be tying. This is a Temple Dog style fly uh, and the colour combination of the Glen Farkless. Uh, normally the Glen Farkless is tied, these are small doubles uh, like this. So this is uh, the bigger version and uh, it's a nice pattern. It's, it's one and it's simple to tie. Now the tubing I'm using, I've got the outer tubing is a gold glitter uh, in black and then I've got an inner tubing uh, basically of just the black itself. Now, you've seen me doing it before, I cut it into a point, slide in the inner tubing, but before I do that, I, put, I melt the end slightly so that it's got more of a grip and it stops a bit there. Now, you can use either black thread or orange thread or whatever you like. I'm going to use, in this case, a fire orange thread uh, in uni. Now, basically run the wax through to get it started. There's no tail in this fly. So what we're going to do is start at the base of the point of the outer tubing and onto the, the inner and then we work up and we work our thread down until we reach this the end of the inner tubing which is just there. I'm going to put a gold holographic tag on this. This is a large stencil, so it's a large gold holographic. And this down at the back. You're looking a couple of turns. Now you protect it. Here's I'm using a lot of the Full and Mill fishing glue, super glue. You can see it comes with a brush, so it's easy to apply. There we go. Well, I did three turns there, but basically the last turn was over the second one. Just to line it up, and then take that away. The rib, I'm using a copper wire, medium. Let me tie this in a third of the way. Just going to take the thread up. Make sure that's secure. I always like to make sure the wire's secure because that's what's holding it. Now for the body, I'm going to be using the Unimyla. You could either use the Peacock in orange or the Copper in, copper in Blue is the other one. Now this is a number 12. Now I'm going to catch this in and take it down. Bring it to the point where we want it to start. Just right at the tag, bring your thread back up, third of the way, and then be nice and tight, straight down there, and then form the first. Oops, it slipped a wee bit, just go back if it slips. So you're looking at a third of the body there. Nice tight turns with the thread. Trim away. Now, what I'm going to do is carry one up. A wee bit of wax on it at this point. And we tie in a large cock cackle. This is a Chinese cock cackle. It's one of the large feathers at the top. And then just going to break off the bottom and bear some of the stem so that I can tie it in. But I'm going to tie it forward. You may have seen me doing this before. It's an easy way to tie in the hackle. Uh, and basically, what I'm doing, finishing the hackle at the back here. Take it down, then I'm going to change to a, 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 it's a dubbing that I, I, I put together. Um, what it is is orange light bright, a copper light, a light bright, and some uh, SLF dubbing. Just blend it all together. You'll probably see a wee bit of the SLF, it's not been dubbed well there. Uh, sorry, mixed well, but it's still okay. So I'm just going to use this. Now, this is, take the thread back up. And then to the high hole anyway, and then we dub this on lightly. And what we're going to do is dub down the way. This is this makes it easy to actually wind on this high hole uh, and catch it in with the thread, and then bring your rib up through. I just found that neater. It's, it's this method is ideal for when you've got a high hole that stops. In this case, two thirds of the way down, and uh, you can actually catch it in. Much easier if you to take this down, see your hackle, and then try and get your rib to this point, you would end up loosening off your hackle. But this way it's much easier. So what you do is you do a turn or so at the top, you work down to your thread, use your thread as your rib, just run it up through, tying in the hackle to make a space for two or three turns. Then you can trim away 
tip, so you see how it's sitting there perfect, so that then you can bring your rib up through. And then that'll secure in the hackle as well, make it really strong. It's a simple method, it's just, you end up with a nice, neat fly and strong. Now this is where you need a bit of wax on your thread to make sure you get plenty of grip. Bend and break away the wire. Now the wing is a mix, I'm using Arctic Fox, I've got a, a hot orange and a nice yellow. Now I'm going to put the hot orange first. Now depending on how heavy you want the dressing, no, I'm not going to make it too heavy. You can exaggerate with the Arctic Fox, it does reduce a lot in the water but you do get a lot of movement in it. So what I do then is just brush through the fibres. Plenty of orange there so tie this forward to the eye. Now you're looking for a wing length that comes back to a couple of, I'd say a body, at least a body length behind the tube. So there's your body there so you've got the same again. There's just a wee touch more but that's fine. And then we get some of the yellow. So there's a couple of turns to hold it there. Again, trim it away. Yeah, brush it through. I've got a small comb here that I have with a, a vice that I brush the, the hair through just to make it much flatter and lighter. Tie this on on the top. Now, wax on your thread. Now you want a good half a dozen or more turns there. Just checking where the fox is sitting. Want to make sure we get a nice spread of fibre there. Leave you can leave this or you can trim that away, but I'm gonna. It's, it's not gonna do any harm. It adds to the fly. Uh, what you can do if you feel you've got too much there, you can get a wee bit of the dubbing again. Just tidy up that area. So all we do is slide it up. Just lightly run the thread through on this side. Then we can bring the thread to the front. Get two or three turns. You've, again, what I'm going to do here is, I've seen this old the hair dryer. Use that to push the hair back. And you'll see how it sits nice. It forms nice. And just hold it for a second. Now that's hot air. Hot air will give you. You can see the shape. The yellow slightly less than the orange. So you've got a nice taper. So easy to do. Um, then you've got a flash. Now I'm using the flash from Loop. Got a premium fly. This one's called, um, basically it's a gold and copper. There's a wee bit of silver in it as well. And two or three strands. Just lay this on the top. And then, it's quite simple, you just two or three turns. Then we can fold it back, just lay it on the top. And then we can tidy it up. Now what we can do here is trim it. So we've got it on the top, we want it to taper out, so we'll just trim it in. Now a good way to see the length again is to just use a hairdryer, just have a look. You'll see the taper in the fly and the movement you're going to get. All the resistance is at the front and there's less at the back so there's more movement. It's a great way of seeing the fly, how it's actually building up. And then you get some if you can use goat, you can use what I got to use goat or something nice and nice and long taper light like this was ideal. Uh, this is a dyed black goat. Sit it on it. Well, it's slightly sped now. I'm just going to run it through the comb just to open the fibres out so I can see. Just look at your taper and the length that you're looking for. Now uh, that's fine. Now we can tie this on the top. It's a pinching loop, two or three turns. I want to keep it on the top, I want to make it different, uh, separate from the other colours. Now, this is where you can just run a brush through. If you have moisture on your fingers, not much, just to give you an idea of the, the shape. Uh, if you look at that, it's got a taper in it, that's fine. So, when you're happy, what I like to do is make sure a wee bit of wax on there. We can tighten up onto that. And then we can trim away the goat. The goat here is hard. It's a, it's a hair that doesn't compress. It's not hollow. 
So what I always like to do is just touch the ends before I tie over them with the super glue. And then we can tidy this up. There we are. Now what I'm going to use is a couple of jungle cock eyes. Which I'm going to tie on now. You can have them short, long, whatever you like. Now I want the, the jungle cock basically to come to the back of the let's say the tag here, the end of the tag. So then it's there. So I've got two, and I'm going to tie them both together. So I'm going to sit on the sides and up into the wing. Two or three turns. That's fine. Then what I'm going to do again, wax my thread. Fold these back. And then come back up, ready for tying in. I'm going to use a, a guinea fill. Dyed blue. So I'll take it away. Now again, you could you could see the shape of the fly. I'm just going to use the dryer to show you. You can see how it sits. How it moves. So you've got a lovely movement of taper in the, in the fly. And you can see how it is. Ideal. Uh, and I say now all we need is a nice feather. Just go in here. Nice blue. You don't need many turns. It's quite a long fibre in this one, so I'm just going to tie on the top. Just have the hackle facing you, the tip there. Again, a wee bit of wax. Wind down towards. Then our tubing. Trim this away. And then what we can do is then tie this on. Just fold the fibres back. And then just get it started nice. Nice and straight turns. There, I'm just going to tighten up. Make sure it's nice and neat. A couple of fibres bent there, so just take your time and go back if you need to. That's... That's plenty of actually. Make a space. There's a couple of fibres there I want. There's actually some broken ends there I never noticed, but I'll still use the hackle. Just at that wee bit there, there's a couple of broken fibres. So I'm going to come in, catch them. Just make a space. Put a few turns in there before you do anything. So nothing's going to move. Trim away the stem. Raise the ends. There we are. A couple of fibres there. Just can draw them back. Nice and tight. Now you can use a um, cone head or a turbo disc. So it's up to yourself. Now what I'm going to do here is just again you see the hackle is quite flat. It's quite flat because it's been obviously wound and it's twisted. And if you add just a wee touch of heat, if you know like that, I just lift the fibres out, just bring them out like this. You'll see them, the twist back round, they sit where you want, and that gives you your shape. See there? Now, that there just puts the life back into your hackle because it's been twisted. And uh, just bring it round. Some of the fibres are still twisted, so, and there we are. Now, as I say, you could use a small cone head. I'll show you what it looks like in both. This, this is a gold head one, and I've got a turbo disc here, so you can see either. Um, so, we've got our gold turbo disc, which would fit on. Now, the turbo disc gives, it, gives you a... Uh, Tube, a lot more disturbance at the front and that bit more movement. Uh, whereas if you add like a weight, a cone head, whether it be metal or tungsten, it reduces it slightly. It will push down onto the hackle, tighten it up. But what you'll get is a lot more movement because uh, you've got a kick from the, the weight here. So you can dress it to suit yourself. So tie some with the turbo disc and some with the cone head. I'll finish off with the, the turbo disc because I've got a couple to do with them. Now it's quite simple to attach it. What I'm going to do is get some, so again, this is the full and well super glue all the way around. Now 
that's all tidy up there in there as well. Just slap that on, nice and tight. Again, if you see, if you, we've got a hair dryer on it. We'll see how it, how it flows. And at the same time, this will dry the super glue. It'll just put it up and set it really quick. And then what I do is to remove it from the should fly adapter. Trim this about a mil and a half or so from the disc. And then we can heat it up. Looks okay. I'm using the needle here to make sure the hole is open. And there's your there's your fly. It's a lovely shape. Lovely pattern, the colour combination you can't go far wrong with. And that's the, the Glen Farkless, uh, tied as a tube fly. This is a James Chalmers uh, pattern, uh, named after a famous Scottish whisky. So, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>